What's up everyone, it's Devin coming at you from the Mile High Break Room. And today we're just gonna be doing a little bit of aging with some spirals today. A lot of fun, very simple, but I'm just kinda kinda you know show you guys what the process looks like. And this is gonna be sort of an ongoing video. So I'm gonna drop the spirals today and I'm gonna come back daily and make a little video. And we're just gonna see how it progresses and how this aging process actually works. Um, so today I have a couple gallons of vodka here um, for, all the, for all the narcs out there. Uh, we didn't make this ourselves. This is store-bought vodka, so, you know, don't go telling anyone. Anyway, one of these whole sticks is rated for three gallons. So I'll show you guys. This whole stick can be dropped into three gallons of volume and age all three gallons, which is, as you can see, it's not very big, so that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. Um, so what we're gonna do today, this is just one gallon that we're doing. One of these spirals has 22 individual spirals. So, I mean, a third of that is around 7.3 or so. So I'm just gonna do eight. So we're gonna count up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm simply just gonna snap it off. Broke off at nine, but that's okay. And it's, you know, this is one of those things that's sort of just a flavor to taste. So it's not an exact science. You might want to put two of these in one three gallon uh, volume. And that's okay. As long as the flavor is where you want it and the color is where you want it, it does not matter. You can over oak with these, so you have to watch out for that. But if you keep an eye on it and just be diligent about it, then you're not really gonna run into that problem. And that's why we're just gonna be stopping in once a day with this video series um, to kind of show you guys what the process looks like. So this is it. I have my nine little spirals here broken off. If you have a bottle where the, the lid is too small for the actual spirals to fit, what you can do is you can just take a flathead screwdriver like this and just break off little pieces. Luckily, my lid is just big enough, so all I have to do is that. And we're done. That's it. So I'm gonna put a lid on this. I'm gonna give it a little stir, just for fun, you don't have to. And we're just gonna let that sit. Now for this one, for this one we've just kind of gone regulation, we followed the exact rules of what it says to use. For this one, I kind of want to go a little bit big. I don't know about you guys, but I just kind of want to show you the difference between the appropriate amount of spirals and a more aggressive amount of spirals. So we're just gonna fucking, I'm gonna drop that in there like that. There we go. And I got a little one, little piece right here. I'm just gonna drop that in there too, cause why not? Cause I can. All right, so I got my lid on, it's all set. So I'm literally just gonna take these and I'm just gonna find a home for them for now. Um, that's gonna be a little, little trouble, but I'll figure it out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for when we come back and, and see how this is all going. Peace. All right, and we're back. Day one of our aging process. And just look at this, look at this. Crazy, right? Just one day is all it took from going to clear liquor to <laughs> off yellow liquor. <laughs> it's, I always love seeing this. Day one is always the best because you just, you just start seeing that aging process so clearly. And it's just awesome. And this is our sort of lightly oaked one from day zero where I just put the required amount in there. And this is the one where we just kind of went all in and just threw in the rest of our spirals. And as you can see, this one is already getting along a lot faster than this one. You can just see the color difference here. It's quite striking. And I mean, this is awesome. We're gonna do a little taste test now. This is great for me. I get to take shots at work. So let's just see how this goes. This is our lightly oaked spirit after one day. So let's see. Oh, 
already a difference, already a difference. Yesterday it tasted like cheap store-bought vodka. Today it tastes like cheap store-bought vodka with a little something extra. <laughs> it's, it's well on its way to being something great. I can already taste it. I can already get kind of like a smoky flavor in there, even after just one day. It really is crazy. All right, and let's try our more heavy toasted vodka. Even better. I like that one a lot. Obviously, it still has a way to go, but it's already, I get that smokiness like I get from this one, but I'm already getting some of those flavors that those tannins give off. Some of that vanilla, you know? Some of that, uh, let me see, let me see. <coughs> oh God. Oh. It's still very strong, but it tastes pretty good. Wow. After just one day. Incredible. All right, well, that's, you know, that's it for day one. This is going to be a really great video series. I can already feel it. We'll see you guys. What's up, everybody? Devin here. Happy Monday, and welcome to day 10 of our Oak Spiral Aging video. Over the weekend, I have kind of seen a little bit of change in color, which I'm excited about. Um, this one that we just oaked the hell out of, it definitely looks a little more golden to me, kind of the color that I that I want it to be at more so. Still got a little bit to go, obviously, but you know, it's it's nice to see that it's it's getting there. Um, this one, this one that we sort of have a standard aging with, um, color is basically the same from what I can tell. Um, I don't even know what color to call this. It's more of like, it's almost like a smoky sort of color. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, so not too much change visually over the weekend, and that's, you know, that's pretty normal. So let's just get to it. This is our um, standard age one on the left. Hmm. That's just getting better, you know, getting better. Last time I definitely said it was like spicy, almost like a seasonal Christmas spice. The spice is not really there for me much anymore. I'm getting more of just like a slight oakiness and it's sort of, it's becoming more smooth as well. It's not biting as much. So it's really coming along well. Um, I think if I were to personally age something like this at home, I would put more spirals in. But, you know, for the sake of the video, just to show you guys this process, I'm just, you know, I'm just going with the standard amount. So that's, you know, it's coming along well though. It's coming along well, I will say. Now let's try this one. This is the one we just oaked the fuck out of, so let's give it a shot. Cheers. That's coming right along. This is starting to get those like sort of um, spicy notes. I wonder with the more oak spirals if those sort of like seasonal spicy, you know, clovey kind of notes are going to stay there. Or are they going to go away? That's sort of what I'm excited about now. What's good, everybody? It's day 13 on the Oak Spiral Aging. You know, I can't believe it's already been two weeks. This is crazy. You know, time flies when you're drinking. <laughs> so let's just jump right into it. We're going to do what we always do. We're going to start with the flavor. I mean, the, the color. Sorry. So we're going to start with the color. We're going to check that out and see if it's changed at all. I really am not seeing any change. Have not seen any change for, for a little bit now. So, you know... Who knows? We'll see what we'll see well, as time moves forward, but you know, not much change. So let's go into the tasting. We always do this one first. This is our more lightly aged spirit. Um, so let's just give it a shot. Cheers. You know, yesterday I really didn't like that. And today I really don't like that. It just tastes weird. I can't, it's like, I can't even describe it anymore. It's like, uh, it's like cheap vodka. That's like trying to be something else, you know, and it should just shouldn't be like, just stay vodka, you know? Um, this one, we have a little more, um, spirals in, as you all know, as you can, you know, a little more golden in color. The color is really nice. I really like where, where that color is at. Reminds me of just like a, a whiskey. It looks like whiskey to me now. You know, so let's see if it tastes like that too. Mm. 
You know, I just like that one so much more. I think it could use a little something, but it kind of just tastes like cheap whiskey now. It doesn't really taste like vodka anymore. Um, it tastes like a, you know, cheap bottle of Canadian Club or something like that. Sorry, Canadians. <laughs> but that's what it tastes like to me. Um, so not bad at all. I honestly love that whiskey. It's a good Mexican whiskey. Um, but not bad. You know, as time goes on, I'm, I'm hoping it just gets better. And, you know, today I'm actually going to uh, do a little something extra. You know, this one, I'm really, I'm very curious when it comes to this one. I really want to find out why this is the amount of spirals they say to use and what's going to happen if I just stay with this amount. There's a large part of me that wants to add spirals to this one, but I'm not going to because I really want to just see um, for the, my sake and for your sake as well. For this one, though, we already have a lot more spirals in it. And today I found this. So this is the one little bit of oak that was left over for me dropped the oak in these. Um, and I figured, you know, what the hell? You know, why not? And I'm just going to I'm going to put this in here and just give it a little more oomph, give it a little more something. It's I really do I I like this one. It is good. It could use a little more though. Is how I feel. So since this is the one that we're sort of playing around with, I'm going to allow myself to drop a spiral in here. Just like that. Boom. So now that's a lot of spirals in there. But we'll see. We're going to see you know what happens and I'm very I'm actually pretty excited about what I just did here. So <laughs> you know We'll see you guys again. What's good, everybody? And we're back for day 17 of the Oak Spiral Aging. I'm just going to jump into it like we always do. Last week on Thursday, we did something a little exciting. Um, we threw an extra spiral in here. You know, this is the one that we're sort of playing around with. So I figured, why not play around with it, you know? So for color, I'm, I'm seeing a difference here. You know, this is a lot darker than it was when I left it. It looks a lot more golden, a lot more just like a nice whiskey. And, you know, so that, that gets me really excited about what that's going to taste like. And we're going to find that out soon. This one, I still really haven't seen much color change at all. Still just kind of doing its thing, you know, but we're just going to let it do its thing, you know. That being said, let's just jump right into tasting. We're going to taste this one like we always do. Day 17. Cheers. You know, I'm still, I'm still not crazy about that. It's, it really hasn't changed at all. It tastes exactly the same. Um, so I don't know, you know, I really like, I really, I'm just hoping like every day that I let this one go further, I'm just kind of hoping that there's like some sort of miraculous change, but there really hasn't been one in, you know days upon days now but i think i'm just gonna let it go i'm just gonna let it go i'm gonna let it see what happens um maybe that day will come who knows all right let's jump over to this one for day 17. that's so good that extra spiral really like took it up a notch that just oh my gosh that's all that's like dangerously smooth wow you know what that tastes like whiskey there's really no other way to put it and not even like cheap whiskey like you know mid-tier whiskey and a decent one at that i really do enjoy that that's only, you know, that, that spiral we just put in is still really fresh. So, like, all those flavors are just going to keep coming forward. You know, I've had a lot of fun with this one. A lot, a lot of fun. Um, this one I'm still on the fence about, <laughs> as I have been sort of the whole time. Um, so that's, you know, that's it for day 17. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I believe today is day 20 on our uh, Oak Spiral Aging 
Um, I had a couple days off in the middle of the week there because I'll be working this weekend. Um, but here we are, day 20. So we're just going to jump right into it. Um, day 20, um, let's look at color like we always do. Again, really not seeing much change in here um, at all. I mean, it's still the same. This one, I think this one even got a, <laughs> this one got a little darker. I mean, that makes sense. That, that spiral we added not too long ago now, I guess a week ago, almost, or just about. Um, so, you know, still definitely got some oomph left in it, got some, got some tannins left in there to be absorbed. So that'll probably even get a little darker, um, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a little darker. I really, I really like this color now. Um, I like this one a lot. All right, so let's just jump into taste. Um, oh, and another thing, I brought out some of the original vodka today, just so you guys can kind of see the overall color difference. And as you can see, it's a very, very drastic. Even for this one, you know, we're not seeing too much of a color change here, but then you pull out the original source, <laughs> and obviously that's a lot of change right there. So, you know, because we have this one sitting here that we put a lot more spirals in, this one definitely seems, you know, very, very, very light in color. But next to this, oh my gosh, it's a crazy difference. All right, let's just jump into flavor, you know? Day 20, we're going to try these out. Let's see what happens for this one. Cheers. Still getting the same kind of flavor with this one. There's a little bit of a sweetness there on the back end. I don't know if that's something that I just never picked up on before, or if that's something that's new. I'm hoping it's new because that means flavors are, you know, changing. But I'm still, for the most part, I'm getting the same exact flavor that I've been getting. All right, moving on to this one for day 20. This is the one that we've just oaked like fucking crazy, and it's coming out great. Cheers. That's just nice. I just kind of, it's just, I just like that. A lot of good flavors, a lot of interesting flavors. None of them bad. I think, honestly, I would even go as far as to put even more oak in here. Maybe. We'll see. But um, I think I'm just going to let this play out for a few days and see, just because, you know, that spiral that we put in there is pretty new still. So the flavors will keep changing with that one. Um, but I'm just going to take another sip, and just because I want to this time, you know? Yeah, that's nice. It's not bad. There are definitely better whiskeys out there. <laughs> but for being a cheap vodka that we sort of aged into a sort of whiskey-flavored spirit, <laughs> I guess you can call it, it's not half bad, you know? I would drink that. I, I mean, I have every day, so <laughs> I would drink more then. What's up, everyone? And we're back for day 30 on our Oak Spiral Aging. Can't believe it's already been a month already, man. That's just nuts. You know, a month, when I have aged this way personally, a month to like a month and a half is usually where I will call it good and take the spiral on out. But <laughs> we're aging a gallon here. Um, you know, when I've aged, it's been more like a liter, you know? So a <laughs> little more volume. So it's going to take more time. So I'm interested to see what happens at 30 days as opposed to, you know, my experience with like that 30-day mark. So let's just jump right into it. You know, color-wise, not seeing any change at all. But that's okay, you know? It's all about the taste, right? And that's what we're gonna get into now. Cheers.
that's really nice. That's coming along nicely. I was really hard on that one for a while. <laughs> it was just every day of coming in and it was just the same and it was the same and it wasn't getting any better. And it's just like, that's what happens, man. Sometimes you just forget that even though this is quicker than a barrel, it still takes time. So you got to give yourself that leeway, you know, have some patience with it. You know, that's honestly coming right along pretty smooth now, I'll say. It's still got some of those like fruity notes I was tasting on Thursday. And they're kind of becoming more full and noticeable. So honestly, that's, that's not bad at all. I really like that. You know, 30 days took some time, <laughs> a little bit of a struggle there for a little while, but that's just the way it is. That's just the name of the game. All right, let's try this one. This is the one we kind of just oaked the ever-loving shit out of. So let's give it a shot. Yeah, see, that's even better. I mean, obviously, more oak, right? <laughs> but, you know, I'm getting those same sort of like fruity notes that I'm getting from this one, except I'm also getting the smokiness, the vanilla, the caramel, you know, all those other notes that you get from a nice, nice oak. So it's really, that's quite something, honestly. I really like that. And it's, it really has only gotten better with time. And that's, I mean, that's the whole fucking purpose, right? <laughs> so it better get better with time. Let it do its thing for a few days, you know, come back and check, it's, you know, so on and so forth. <laughs> and that's going to be it. You know, I might come back tomorrow. I might just let these sit for another few days. We'll see. So it'll either be day 31 when I come back or day 34 or something like that. <laughs> So we'll see. I really like where these are going though. These are coming along very nicely and I'm very proud of how both of these are turning out now. So quite a journey it's been. <laughs> All right, well, until then, I'll see ya. What's up everybody? And we're back for day 33 of our Oak Spiral Aging video. At least I think it's day 33. Honestly, it's getting hard to keep track these days. <laughs> so what I did, yesterday morning as I put these in the fridge. And that's something you can do as well. If you cycle between the fridge, you know, put it in the fridge for a day, keep it on the counter for a day, something like that, it'll actually help to accelerate your aging process and even bring forward some more colors. This is something that some distilleries do as well with their barrels, and it's something you can do at home with your spirals, which is awesome. So that's what I did. Um, just looking at it now, just looking at color, I am honestly noticing that this one looks a little darker to me. Whether or not that came from being in the fridge for a day or so, I'm not sure. But it wasn't as dark before. It's definitely a, a different sort of color now, um, which, I, which I like. It means it's, it's progressing. It's getting somewhere. This one looks a little darker too, if I'm being completely honest. A um, little more of that dark brown. Before it was more like a golden brown, and now it's sort of like a dark, darker golden brown, I should say. Um, so looking to me like that honestly did pull forward some more color. And you know, so let's just see about flavor. What did it do for flavor? Let's find out. We're gonna start with this one as we always do. Day 33, cheers. That's not terrible. I still am getting some of those fruity notes. It's getting really sort of complex on the back end there. And I kind of like that. That initial flavor is, I'm not gonna say bland. It's a little sweet. And then that back end, I'm getting just a whole fuck ton of flavors that are hard to even describe. And I like it. I like it a lot. And honestly, everything's a little better cooled down. <laughs> Doesn't burn as bad going down the throat when it's a little cooler. So that also helps as well. And here we have 
our whiskey that we kind of, our whiskey, our vodka that we oaked the fuck out of. So let's just see what that day or so in the fridge has done to this one. That's really nice. I mean, even before, right when I got up to around here, I could just smell all those flavors too. It smells like straight up vanilla and caramel. And that's what it tastes like too. That's really nice. I think putting in the fridge, you know, actually did do a little something. I might do that from now on. You know, I'll probably keep it out for now. And then when I come back, I'll probably toss it in the fridge again, take it out again, because this is something I want to keep on trying. I wanted to try it a little earlier in the series, but our fridge was chock full of all kinds of stuff that we're, you know, making videos with and people's lunches and all that bullshit. So <laughs> I finally had some room in the fridge, so I'm going to think I'm going to start utilizing that room now because, wow, that was, that was a really pleasant tasting for me and, you know, definitely more flavors coming through every time I come up here and taste, which is just wonderful to see. Um, so yeah, I will be seeing you guys Monday. That will be day 37. Holy shit. Almost 40 days now. Oh my God. All right. Well, I'll see you guys then. I'm probably going to stick around and drink the rest of this. I don't know. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to day 38 of our Oak Spiral Aging video. I was here yesterday for day 37, but I was just a little too busy doing some other stuff, so I didn't really have a chance to come up here. But that's all right, you know? These things take time. I've got time, so <laughs> it's all good. I did get a chance to put these in the fridge again yesterday, so they have been sitting in there for another, you know, good 12 hours or so. Just took them out a couple hours ago. So... Good to go. So we're just going to jump right into it as we always do. First, we're going to look at color. Really not seeing any color changes here, which is not necessarily a bad thing at all. You know, I'm pretty content with the colors in both of these and where they're at. So even if I don't get more color change as time progresses, I'm not going to be upset about that. I'm fine with how these look right now. So that being said, let's just jump right into flavor, give it a couple tastings. Gonna start on the left as we always do. This is the one that we put the more just required amount of spirals, the amount that's you know called for. Cheers, day 38. Still pretty good. I'm still getting those fruity notes that I've been getting the past few tastings. A little bit of oakiness on the back end. You know, last time I was getting more like complex flavors on the back end that were just like really weird and hard to describe, but it's settled down to just sort of like a general oakiness, which I, which I like. Um, so doing pretty good. Day 38, you know, pretty fucking good. We're going to try this one on the right. This is the one that we just kind of oaked the shit out of. So we're going to see where this is at. Cheers. That's just really nice. You know, as I've been saying the past few tastings, very, very heavy, like vanilla flavors, caramel, a nice smokiness, a nice oakiness. I definitely am noticing more body to it as well. The flavor is just more full um, and has like a thicker mouthfeel as well, as opposed to this one, which is more of like, it's more of a thinner mouthfeel. Definitely a lot of flavors there, but not as much of body to those flavors. So, you know, this one, I've been, I've been liking this one the whole fucking time. So, I mean, this is the winner for me for sure. But, you know, we'll see. I'm going to give this probably just a few more days. We're, we're, we're getting towards the end here, I feel like. It's been almost 40 days now. That's, a, you know, that's a decent amount of time to have something aging um, on spirals like that. So, we'll see, though. I might change my mind. Who knows? <laughs> All right, well... I'll see you guys, you know, maybe tomorrow I'll come back for day 39. I might also just wait until Thursday and, you know, do it, do a day 40 review. So, you know, we'll see, you know, I'll see you guys in a day or two. <laughs> All right. Later. What's up, everybody? And welcome to day 40 of the Oak Spiral Aging video series. 40 days. Wow. It's been a long time. So let's just jump into it like we always do. Just looking at color, I really haven't seen much of a difference here. 
at all. So, you know, it is what it is. Like I said before, I don't really mind that because the color is good. I like where it's at. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um, let's just jump right into the flavor. We're going to try this one to the left. That's a little less oat. Yeah, still about the same as I've been tasting the past few days. You know, a little sweet, like I've mentioned, with a little oakiness on the back end. Not bad at all. Let's try this one on the right. It's uh, a lot more oaked. Yeah, it's still really nice. You know, really tasting the same to me as well. Vanilla, caramel little spiciness, little oakiness, you know, it's good. It's really good. I like it. Um, and I think, you know, day 40, I think this is where I'm going to call it. You know, it's just been, I haven't really been seeing changes the past few days. It's been tasting pretty much the same, looking pretty much the same. And, you know, I don't want to drag out this video series too long. I don't want to make this video, you know, an hour long and do like 80 days of this. <laughs> so like, Honestly, day 40, I'm happy with where these are at. I'm happy with how they're tasting. And they, they're good. They're good to me. So this is where I'm going to call it. So let's just, you know, review a little bit. Like, what have we learned this entire process? Well, to me, the main thing I've learned is just, you know, patience. You know, just got to have patience with this kind of stuff. Oak spiral aging is faster than barrel aging but it's still something that takes time. You know, we've done this for 40 days. I've talked to people who have aged on spirals for upwards of like six months. So it really depends on your flavor profile, what you're looking for. Um, these are pretty well aged for 40 days though, I will say. I'm getting a lot of nice oaky flavors in here. Like, it's, it's really nice. I like it. So patience, first and foremost, you know, these things take time and you gotta give it time. You know, you can't expect magic after a week. You know, that's just not going to happen. Um, you know, it's still, it's going to be a lot faster, like I said, but time is key and just giving it that time. Um, definitely tasting. You want to be tasting, you know, probably three times a week max, I would say. Um, more so like once a week would probably be the better amount to taste. Um, just, you know, just to keep an eye on it, you want to, you definitely want to be taking sips of this, just, just see where it's at, taking a look at the color, you know, one to three times a week, I would say. Um, so definitely keep on that, be diligent about it. Don't just like let it sit and forget about it. You don't want to do that because that's how you end up over oaking. And you know, when that happens, it's pretty much a useless spirit because it'll just taste like shit. So definitely want to be keeping an eye on this. Don't do what I did and come back and taste every day unless you really want to put yourself through that. <laughs> you know, I did just for the sake of the video series, but even I couldn't last that long. I think it was like the first few days I was doing it daily. Then I realized that was just not the way to do it. So don't don't go that route. You're just going to drive yourself crazy if you're coming here tasting every day. Unless you just want a sip of your liquor that day. I can't tell you not to do that, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so patience. Tasting one to three times a week for sure. Um, uh, you know, the the more spirals you have in there, obviously the more color you'll get, the more oaky flavors, the more of those tannins will get absorbed. So just play around with different amounts, you know, see what works for you. You know, maybe start off a little small like this one, and then, you know, if it's not going as fast or, you know, the color is not there that you want, you know, throw some more in there. Wouldn't It's not going to hurt at all, you know? So just keep adding the amount until you, you know, you get the spirit that you want. That's all this is. It's all about personal preference. I'm stopping this at day 40, you know, but you don't have to. You can just use this as like a loose guide. You don't have to do exactly what I've done here. But there's really not much to it, you know. You put the spirals in the spirit. You let it sit until it's done. And that's it. That's, that's all you have to do. It's really, really, really simple. Um, there are other things that go into aging on a barrel that, you know, can affect your spirit, you know, evaporation, angel share, 
Um, you can have leakage in a barrel, depending on where you're storing it, you know, the climate, you know, all, all kinds of stuff can happen when you're aging in a barrel. And when you're aging on a spiral, that stuff just doesn't really happen. <laughs> so it's, it's really nice because you just kind of plop your spirals in here. You can put it pretty much anywhere, let it sit for however long you want, and you're going to get a pretty nicely aged spirit. It's just a cooler, it's just a fun way to age. It's cost effective, it's fast. So what's not to love about that, honestly? So we're gonna call it good at day 40. I've had a lot of fun doing this. And now I've got, you know, a couple gallons of <laughs> pretty tasty spirit here that I gotta figure out what to do with. So that'll be fun. <laughs> All right guys, well, it's been a blast. You know, I've learned a lot this, this series. I hope you've learned a lot too. So that's it. You know, 40 days, nicely aged. Bada bing, bada boom. Don't know why I just said that, but fuck it. I just did. <laughs> See you guys.